The Cavalcade of Music, presented by DuPont. This summertime series, DuPont's Cavalcade of Music, presents songs written by composers who have made and are making America sing and dance. Such men as Vincent Newman, Arthur Schwartz, Cole Porter, and others, including a young man named Richard Rogers, whose music we will hear this evening. Don Voorhees and his DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra will play it. And here with us as guest soloist is radio's well-known baritone, Conrad Tebow. In writing two successful varsity shows for Columbia University in New York, Richard Rogers and his lyric writing partner, Lorenz Hart, startled blasé critics of light music by showing Broadway something new. Working as a team, they later wrote the score for the first intimate type of musical review, the Garrick Gaieties. And the melody you're hearing now is from that review, Mountain Greenery. Before the Garrick Gaieties, Rogers and Hart had delighted New York with their first big success, Dearest Enemy. Its most popular tune was Here in My Arms. DuPont's guest baritone, Conrad Tebow, will sing My Heart Stood Still from the Connecticut Yankee, which is said to be Richard Rogers' favorite melody. I 
discreet heart seem romantic food. A house in Iceland was my heart's domain. I saw your eyes, now castles rise in Richard Rogers graduated from college in 1923. Encouraged by his father, a well-known New York physician, he continued his studies in music. Unlike many young composers, Rogers didn't have to wait long for recognition. The next number in our DuPont cavalcade of music is one of the songs that immediately won public favor. From the musical comedy The Girlfriend, the smash hit The Blue Room. Thank you. 
1926, Rogers and Hart had four shows running simultaneously on Broadway. One was Spring is Here. Don Voorhees and the DuPont Orchestra will play with a song in my heart. Continuing our program of Richard Rogers' songs, we have a brief announcement from DuPont. Have you had your vacation yet? This is the time of year when millions of Americans forget their work for a while and get out in the open. And strange as it may seem, DuPont research chemists help you get a full measure of fun out of your vacation. Maybe you plan to play a lot of tennis. Well, the light clothing you wear was made white by chemical bleaching agents. Your tennis racket gleams with a transparent lacquer. And, of course, covers of tennis balls are held tightly in place by chemically created cement. Or perhaps golf is your game. If you've seen a high-speed photograph showing how a golf ball flattens out at the moment it is struck by the club head, you realize what a problem it is for the manufacturer to make a ball that will stand this terrific beating. DuPont chemists supply rubber chemicals that help make the ball tough and long-lasting and increase the distance you can get. Of course, the steel shafts of the golf clubs themselves are made bright and rust-resistant through chemical contribution. If you're going to watch or play baseball on your vacation, chemistry serves there, too. The improved fielder's gloves and mitts are of fine leather tanned with chemical agents. Dyes from the laboratory give uniforms their bright-colored trimming. And bats finished with chemically created finishes smack the baseball with its specially treated cover out of ballparks everywhere. Whether it's rayon bathing suits for the seashore, lacquered trout lines for mountain streams, or equipment for a hundred other sports, 
chemistry goes with us on vacation and does its bit to add to our enjoyment. Speaking of vacations brings to mind the new plan announced in June that makes it possible for thousands of DuPont workers to get away for a real holiday this summer. In addition to salaried employees who have enjoyed vacations in the past, the DuPont Company now grants all employees who have been on the job for a year or more, whether they work in offices or in plants, two weeks vacation with full pay. Progress of this kind, too, is included in what DuPont means by its phrase, better things for better living, through chemistry. The DuPont Cavalcade of Music moves on with more melodies by Richard Rogers from the circus musical show Jumbo. Conrad Tebow is going to sing My Romance. I will kiss your hand, madame, crazy for you, though I am. I'll never woo you on bended knee. No, madame, not me. We don't need that flowery fuss. No, no, madame, not for us. My romance doesn't have to have a moon in the sky. My romance doesn't need a blue lagoon standing by. to now we've played the more romantic melodies of Rogers and Hart, but the boys have not neglected the trend of the times. Last fall and winter, about the time dress rehearsals of DuPont's Cavalcade of America were ready to start late Wednesday afternoons, we'd see crowds coming out of the Imperial Theater next door. They'd seen a matinee of On Your Toes, a smash hit musical that ran for nearly a year. And the Richard Rogers tune we'd hear nearly everybody humming was this one, There's a Small Hotel.
Dick Rogers and Larry Hart are an amazing pair, said one competent critic. In the first place, I don't know of another team that never writes anything except with each other. And what a gift they have for gay, youthful music. Even their romantic numbers make you feel younger. The score of a current Rogers Hart musical, Babes in Arms, offers several good examples of what he meant. We've chosen three, I Wish I Were in Love Again, Where or When, sung by Conrad Tebow, and the much-played Johnny One Note, the story of the poor fellow who could sing only one note. <laughs> worked with Rogers and Hart will tell you that nobody knows what new devices, new ideas they'll think up next. That's their reputation. But the result is always entertaining and sometimes important in the history of American light music. So DuPont salutes Richard Rogers and Lorenz Hart for the musical pleasure they have given and are still giving all of us. Next Wednesday evening, Don Voorhees and his DuPont Cavalcade Orchestra, with Conrad Tebow here to sing, will have a program of Vincent Newman's music for us. For instance, yes, a full program of humans' numbers, including the one you've just heard, without a song, next Wednesday evening at the same time. 
when DuPont again presents The Cavalcade of Music. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.